Today we're sitting here with Will Pulpy, <laughs> aka William Power, and theme it the new YouTube channel. Alrighty, yes, we are here with uh, my best friend Kevin. He's got an amazing theme car that we are showcasing, and it is one of my favorites. It's uh, the Night Industry 2000, and it is an amazing, an amazing build. So we're here to talk about it, find out why he did it, found out why he loves kits so much. Um, we're gonna start out with Knight Rider itself. Originally, back in 1982, 12 years old, it was a new series that came out about a undercover crime fighter that worked with a highly intelligent car. And together they solved crimes that the average police couldn't deal with, or the corruption within government or different agencies. Where did you first learn to really enjoy Knight Rider? You know, I can't remember. I think it was on a Sunday evening when Knight Rider would come on television. And back in the day, everything was great for television. It was like Dukes of Hazard and Starsky and Hutch and the A-Team. But Knight Rider was, I think it was far cooler because it was a super car of the future. You know, Knight Rider, even though some people just look at it as a tacky show that talking car, unbelievable stuff. And, you know, and to some people it's fantasy. But like you said, the televisions are based on, on a wide media spread that Kit could actually interface with, you know, the, the co-founder of the foundation, Devin Miles. They could talk back and forth video conference like we would have mm -hmm. um, Just like our FaceTime. FaceTime now, yeah. Um, OnStar, like you said, the, the talking, the, the intellectual part of the car, the intelligence of the car would be like talking to OnStar or Bluetooth, mm -hmm. talking on mm -hmm. the phone to a friend. Um, when it comes down to... Uh, self-driving. Self-driving, exactly. You know, Google's already created a self-driving, self-propelled car. Mm -hmm. uh, Ford, I'll just mention Ford. When, you know, you'd take a look at Kit when Michael would say, hey, Kit, go park. Well, now Ford ha actually has. You press a button and the, and the vehicle parks itself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there is a lot of technological strides that I feel as much as uh, I'd like to believe that it was an influence for the technology today. For sure. I think so. I think, I think something like Knight Rider Kit and a lot of these science fiction shows, imag imaginative shows, have pioneered what we have today just by coming up with the thought, the idea, and then showing it on TV, and then in 30, 40 years from now, it is almost reality. Yeah, like we talked about even Star Trek back in the 60s. Their communicators, where you flip them open, that inspired Motorola to actually create the flip the phone. Flip phone yeah. And it was inspired from Star Trek. Yeah. yeah. So it is, it is a great feeling to have something that did, that did inspire, contribute. Exactly. Yeah, inspired I think, the technology. I think Kit totally contributed to what's happening now. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's really cool. I think it's... You know, and, and it's such a cool car, e even to this day. I mean, we look at the lines of the car, the steering wheel, um, you know, all this that Kit represents just was a, a futuristic, cool idea. Um, let's talk a little bit about the engine. We didn't really touch on the engine. What, what did Kit have for an engine? Kit originally had the 305 V8, mm -hmm. and it had the Crossfire injection. Um, I'm not a fan of the Crossfire injection because it is very touchy to keep a balance in, in that engine to keep it running properly. Um, I myself, I love the, the engine I have. It's a, it's a Target Master crate engine. It's a 305 high output engine with a few dress up pieces like Edelbrock parts, performance parts. We've got a 650 carb, we've got uh, Edelbrock intake manifold, Edelbrock valve covers. We've got a brand new distributor in there, plugs, wires. Brand new tanks. We got coolant tank and washer fluid tank. It it looks great. You know, yeah, we dressed it yeah. up. No, when you take when you take the car out, even in the show, you never really saw underneath the hood. No, actually, you didn't really with Kit. Uh, there was more about the inside and the outside. Yeah, than exactly. Than Nobody cared there. about the engine. They just no. cared about the car doing what something. What he was saying and what he was doing and and that sort of thing. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about was the the fact that the car can talk. I am the voice of Night Industry 2000's microprocessor, K-I-T-T -T for easy reference. I know you're getting some more stuff going on it. Um, the car doesn't talk at the moment, but you are getting different apps, different technology, so that the car will interact with, 
with other people yes. and yourself. Yes. So yeah, that's that's really cool. Yeah, with my iPhone, I actually got a Knight Rider app, and what it does is it has about 45 to 50 pre-selected questions you can ask Kit, and he will respond to it. Mm -hmm. You can ask him his name. You can ask him to tell you a joke. Um, you can ask him pretty well anything. You say hi to him, he'll say hi back to you. Cool. You tell him your name and he'll greet you right back. No, that's really and uh, I'm going to actually have that interfaced with my CD player so Kit will talk inside the car when people go and sit in the car at a show and they can talk to Kit and he'll talk back. And if I don't want that going on and I want to step back, I have audio clips on a CD that I could just put into the CD player mm, and I, ha I can either have it inside the car talking or outside. I have an external speaker under the hood. Mm -hmm. And Kit can talk both, either outside, inside, or a combination of both. Really cool, really cool stuff. No, my friend, you have outdone yourself. This is an amazing car. I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of your car. Um, thank you for being on Theme It. Um, we hope to see you again back here. Uh, we'll, we'll do another show um, once everything's totally completed. And it'll be a really, really interesting, awesome day. So. No, that sounds great. Thank yeah. you for having me. Yeah, yeah. Peace. Team Mission, like and subscribe. You don't want to miss an episode. Do it. Do it now.